What's up guys, this is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And uh, it's been raining off and on like crazy, but I went ahead and got this car wiped off. I'm gonna sneak this one in, it's my last ride of the day. This is a 1964 Impala SS. I just did the test drive yesterday. Uh, sorry if it starts raining midway through this video, but I wanted to go ahead and get the walk around put on. We got the test drive done last night and put up so you could see that on here. This one's got a small block 350. The motor's very pretty under there. They've got it looking good. The paint on this car is in great shape, but what I want to do is walk around, point out any kind of flaws that I can find. That way you know exactly what kind of car you're getting before you get here. We're going to start up here in the front. Hey guys, if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. I post videos on classics every single day. The front bumper actually looks like it's in great shape. So that's only dry looking spot on the bumper, but the majority of it's in good condition. There was a couple little chips with some runs under the bolts. The grill itself's in great condition. And look down the side of this thing. That's awesome. The lines are great. I did warm the car up a little bit when I pulled it back here. Just kind of fogged up the interior a little bit. A lot of the trim is in good shape, it's been replaced. I'm always checking the bottoms of these doors and this car's straight as far as that goes. If I do see something though, I'll point it out. Tires are almost new. Wheels, American Racing, polished wheels. You can polish them up even more even though they look good now. It's a good thing about polished wheels. They'll come back out. Roof's in good shape. The windows have been tinted. I love that trim. Look how cool that looks. The doors are nice and tight on this car too. Look at that. wheels look awesome front disc brakes on this one too i believe yeah and you can see them through the wheel Rear bumper looks awesome. All the trim on this car is nice and shiny. It's all popping. That's sleek right there. Uh, let's see what this is. That'll come out with a little wax and some smudge marks in the back. Some dirt. And the trim there needs to be glued up a little bit before it gets bad, because that looks so good going down it. kind of checking everything over they put new mirrors new door handles obviously replaced all the trim check the bottom of the doors on this one that's the only hanging i see it's a really slick car here we'll go ahead and pop the hood let you check that out. They got a 350 in this one. Oh, I'm about to shove y'all into the hood. All right. Somebody put armor all on the fender wells for some reason, but look. 
fender wells are painted up just like the paint job. They're nice and clean. Under the hood's the same way. Insulation's still all up under there. Missing a few little pieces in here, but that could easily, easily be replaced. Power steering, front disc brakes. Let's go ahead and check that trunk out. Let's see if we got any water in it because it has been raining a lot. It's a good opportunity for to check everything, including the floorboards in here. And they're, they're damp. So let me see. The weather stripping actually looks good in this car. Something may not be lining up right. Allowing the water to get in. Could be the front windshield, but normally, I guess it would make its way all the way back. See, it's a little damp up here too. Let's go ahead and get the keys and see if the trunk's leaking. This car doesn't need to be sitting outside anyways. But for the little time that we have it up here, we keep them clean, keep them waxed, and uh, try to take care of them if they get water in them. They go back to the cleanup shop and get dried out. It's one of these keys, guys. <laughs> I hope I can hit it right here. Looks like that... Uh, Come on, I may have it. There we go. Let's see what's up with that. It's kind of hanging in there a little bit. That may need to be replaced. We're gonna look in the trunk here. You know, it looks fairly dry. I'm gonna pull this max. Sometimes it'll get up under here. It looks like some runs. See where the water was kind of running down. Let's see. Yeah, it's catching some water too. We'll get that taken care of. Get that out of here. Definitely don't want that in the car. Causing any issues. Same over here. Leaking a little bit. I guess the uh, water's coming from the back window seal. The seal all the way around the back window is dripping down right here. And it looks like it's going right behind the seat, getting into the back floorboards. So. This one's a leaker. And the weather stripping looks great. It's definitely gonna be in the window seals. Trunk lid's in good shape. Thing looks pretty good. So we got a little bit of a water leak. Gonna need to replace the lock. Truck shut's pretty good, so check out the door jams here. Weather stripping looks pretty soft. Bottom of the door solid. Door panel itself looks pretty good. Looking at the seats, they're in great shape. Back seat looks good too. Package tray's in good shape. It's dark in here, guys. I'm trying. I got your light over there that works. This one's out. Needs a bulb. Headliner looks great in this car, though. Kind of cruise across the dash here. Let me get the keys back out of my pocket. Kind of cruise across the dash in here. Look at that. That goes all the way across here where the radio is. Of course, the horn don't work on this one. Uh, wiper switch is hanging. It needs to be replaced. I noticed that. It's just not even hooked up. It just spins. Go ahead and start the car up. Sorry. Check our blower motor here. Our blower motor's not working. Oil pressure sitting at about 45, 
Uh, engine temp hasn't completely came up yet. I don't know if that gauge works or not. We've had it out running already, so it should have came up. The radio's not working. All right. Sounds like she's starting to warm up. She's got a little bit of a cam to her. guys this is going to conclude my walk around video if you haven't seen the test drive check it out you can see it at maplemotors.com with 100 detailed pictures financing information wheels tires accessories transportation try to get all that covered for you i appreciate y'all watching please hit subscribe for videos like this every single day and thanks again guys